hello and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim poaching i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically me welcoming my audience from south korea okay south korea now um we found out yesterday that um what's it called no, the day before yesterday that we have viewers from south korea on this channel and if you're one of those people who watch our videos from south korea thank you so much for watching um our videos i hope that our content is beneficial to you whether it's the entrepreneurial content or even the real life issues content or even the lifestyle content okay and the fashion content i hope you finding it beneficial whichever one that you're interested in now um you can actually request um videos in the comment section of this video um you know south korea related videos okay but it has to um align with the niche of this youtube channel now to find out what this channel is all about check out the about section of this channel you'll find out what this channel is all about and you can choose video in any of those categories whether it's the entrepreneurial content the real life issues content the lifestyle the arts and entertainment or even the fashion um content you can choose any of those okay um now those videos will be done for next year okay um now i want to share with you food that let's find something that is interesting about south korea okay let's see let's see mm. food. okay so i'm going to share with you 14 south korean food you must try now it's evening time here that's probably why um and i'm also using my laptop so my um the quality of this video will be a little bit like blurry kind of okay and you can see christmas lights there although we don't celebrate christmas we do have lights there because winter i like a cozy environment and i like lights so we managed to get some new ones there okay some warm new ones so they're yellowy and they flicker on and off okay so um let's okay so So in the recent years, South Korea has become better known for its technology than its food. However, thanks to delicacies like kimchi, um, what's it called? Which has become a global sensation, things are beginning to change. Okay, there's a list of South Korean food. So, hoi Hoidiok, which is a sweet syrupy pancake, okay, known as a sweeter version of the Western pancake, Hoidiok, or sometimes spelled as Hotiok, is a popular Korean street food, especially during the winter season. 
it is essentially flat circular dough that is filled with a mixture of cinnamon honey sugar honey brown sugar and small piece of pieces of peanut and cooked on a griddle the delicacy has crunchy exterior and soft interior as well as an irresistible flavor okay so that is what is eaten during winter now in the uk um, we are in winter hence i've covered myself okay because evening times it gets a bit colder okay um so that sounds nice to try and then um bulgogi which is marinated beef barbecue okay a juicy savory dish of grilled marinated beef bulgogi is one of the most popular korean meat dishes throughout the world and was ranked as the 23rd most delicious food in the world according to cnn travels readers poll in 2011 okay it is often grilled with garlic and sliced onions to add flavor to the meat now i would love to try this because we actually grow our own onions and our own garlic in our indoor garden okay so if you're not following the ahp food store limited on facebook or instagram go and do that for all the agricultural content but on this channel they're also agricultural content so you can watch those okay so this is how this is what it looks like okay so bulgogi is spelled b-u-l-g-o-g-i okay um the meat is usually wrapped in lettuce and it is also traditionally eaten with some zhang which is a thick red spicy paste okay and then there is also the samjiao sol which is pork strips okay um this is spelt s m s a m g y e o p s a l okay um one of the most popular korean dishes in south korea samjiao sol consists of grilled slices of pork belly meat that are not marinated or seasoned they are commonly dipped in seasoning made of salt and pepper mixed in sesame seed oil that sounds yummy and then wrapped in lettuce along with grilled slices of garlic grilled slices of onions shredded green onions and kimchi I've never tried kimchi but I've seen how it's made and I'm interested in trying it um, it is one of the most common dishes found in any Korean restaurant throughout the world so it's a popular restaurant food okay and then there's jap chai which is the fried noodles okay this is spelled J A P C H A E if I'm pronouncing these wrong, do you forgive me? I'm not South Korean, okay? Often served as a side dish during lunch or dinner, japchae is a traditional traditional Korean noodle dish made up of stir-fried sweet potatoes thinly shredded vegetables beef and a hint of soy sauce and sugar that sounds nice different different but yeah i like sweet potatoes um depending on the chef additional ingredients such as mushrooms are added to the mix japchae is known for its sweet and flavorful taste and its soft yet slightly chewy texture Okay, 
kimchi which is a fermented ve fermented vegetables one of the oldest and probably the most essential dishes in korean cuisine is kimchi kimchi is a spicy and sour dish made up of fermented vegetables it is prepared with various kinds of vegetables but the most common main ingredient is cabbage kimchi is popular among foreigners for its unique flavor as well as its high nutritional value fiber content and low calorie content however for koreans it's most popular due to its significant cultural value without kimchi dinner is considered incomplete wow so they have it at most of their meals okay that's how it looks like mm. and then there's duboki which is a spicy rice cake it's spelled double d u k b o double k i okay duboki also spelled tsuo tsuo boki which is double t e o k b o double k i is a common spicy korean food made of cylindrical rice cakes triangular fish cake vegetables and sweet red chili sauce mm, nice combination it is soft is is often sold by pojang matcha street vendors which is street vendors okay people enjoy duboki for the combination of spicy and sweet flavors and then there's this sun sundubu jigai which is soft tofu stew i'm not really into tofu okay served in a large stone bowl sundubu jigai is a commonly spiced curry spicy korean stew generally made of dubu which is tofu vegetables mushroom seafood beef or pork now i like the meat combination so i might try that okay and gochujang which is chili paste depending on the chef and region some ingredients are removed substituted or added to the mix though different variations exist traditionally a raw egg Mm, okay is placed on top of the stew and mixed with the soup before serving to add flavor to the dish i'm not a fan of raw eggs i only use raw eggs for my face okay then there's the bibim bap which is spelled B I B I M B A P. Okay, it's a mixed rice. Bibim Bab is essentially a bowl of mixed ingredients, including but not limited to rice, namul, which is seasoned and sauteed vegetables, mushrooms, beef soy sauce, goju gochujang which is a chili pepper paste and a fried egg now this sounds this sounds nice i think they serve this at wagamama it sounds like a wagamama dish um the ingredients found in bibimbap vary for, by region and the most famous versions of the dish are found in jonju Tonjeo and Jinju. Okay, then there is the. It looks like this. It's actually really. It actually looks really nice. Um, then there's a Xiao Leong Tang, which is ox bone soup. 
a traditional hot Korean soup made from ox bones, ox meat and brisket. Briskets. Seo leong tang is a local dish of seo, often seasoned with salt, ground black pepper, chopped green, onions and minced. I was about to say I've never tried ox before but I've got I've eaten ox tail before. Ox tail before so this would be nice. Okay. Um Okay. Or minced garlic according to the consumer's taste. The broth is of a milky white cloudy colour and is often eaten with rice. Seo Leong Tang is known for its soft yet chewy texture and flavorful broth and can be found in most Korean restaurants in Seoul. Okay, then there is Hai Mule Pajon, which is seafood vegetable pancake. A version of Pajon, which is a pancake like Korean dish made predominantly with green onions, egg butter, wheat flour, and rice flour. Hai Mule Pajon incorporates seafood to the common pancake common seafood ingredients used include but not are not limited to oyster shrimp squid and clams hey pajon is generally eaten as a main dish and is known for its soft and chewy texture as well as its mixture of seafood flavors it's probably nice but i've not tried and then there's a Sam Jie Tang, which is ginseng chicken soup, a common okay, a common dish, particularly during the summer. Now we normally have soup for winter, but I guess because it's light, so that's probably why they have it in summer. Okay, okay. Sam Jie Tang is a traditional soup made of chicken, garlic, rice, scallion, Korean jujub, Korean ginseng, and spices. It is known to have high nutritional value. Not only is it own, known for its healthy contents, but it is up. It also is popular simply for its creamy and meaty flavor that's how it looks like then there is the sundae sundae which is blood sausage sundae or sometimes spelled as sunday is a Korea, unique Korean dish made of pig's intestines stuffed with several ingredients such as noodles, pork blood and barley. That sounds like black pudding. Um, versions of sundae differ in fillings and wrappings and are often prepared differently according to the province or city in South Korea. Nevertheless, though the recipes differ, every sundae is chewy on the outside and soft and flavorful on the inside, creating an interesting mix of texture as well as flavors. Then there's the Neng Mion, which is a cold buckwheat noodles. Ne is a common cold Korean noodle dish that consists of long thin noodles, cucumbers, slices of Korean pears, slices of beef and a hard boiled egg. I think I've seen that before but noodles cold. Okay. 
<laughs> sorry guys I like to try food but certain foods just yeah when you imagine it what okay um the noodles are often made of buckwheat potatoes and sweet potatoes but can also be made of arrowroot and kudzu depending on the type of name Mio. it is popular it is a popular dish especially during the summer to cool off under the scorching heat and thick humid air in south korea okay so it's cold because of summer summer being very hot okay then the last one is the hobajuk which is pumpkin porridge now this sounds interesting a sweet and grainy dish hobajuk is a traditional korean porridge made from steamed pumpkin and glutinous rice that has been soaked in water though its appearance is simple it is extraordinarily sweet and flavorful due to the pumpkin it is a popular meal during breakfast hours and is often a perfect choice for people who are unwell and unable to consume heavy meals okay it is served both hot and cold but it but is best when hot yeah i think i prefer it hot because pumpkin cold pumpkin i don't mm -mm. Nah. that's it that is it guys those are 14 south korean foods to try if you are in korea like if you're traveling to korea okay or even if you're outside of korea you can find recipes to actually um reciprocate no not reciprocate um what's it called to um to try okay to recreate that's it to recreate so um yeah check them out try it let me know in the comment section and i'll be trying out some of them okay the ones that i think are nice for me for me i will not be eating all of them but i'll try the ones that i like okay so that is it it brings us to the end of this video um like i said you can suggest your video uh for the south korea series and we'll be shooting that in in 2022 because right now we are in december um and we are still on the journey of vlogmas okay today is day 22 of vlogmas and i'm looking forward to the end of vlogmas because i'm thinking like mm, i don't want to share everything that um i've purchased although they're all like festive themed well most of them are festive themed but i don't want to share all of them um not this year anyway but most of them are like for recipes anyway so um yeah so keep an eye out for some of the videos that i'll be showing and yeah that's basically it I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.